Hello and welcome to another session on Big Data Technologies. In this video, let's learn to connect Microsoft SQL Server Integration Services or SSIS to the Hive data that we created in the last video. SSIS is one of my favorite topic as I have spent a significant part of my career using SSIS and other Microsoft technologies for enterprise data warehouses and other ETL activities. In order to connect to the Hive data that we have on our Cloudera virtual machine, we need to install ODBC drivers so that SSIS or any other ODBC compliant application get, can get connected to. Let's get started. I'll open the browser and let's search for the drivers. I search for Hive Cloudera ODBC. Click on the first link that takes you to Cloudera downloads page. I choose the latest ODBC. I just leave the default there and my operating system is Windows and I am going to download 32-bit. Since my SSIS is 32-bit version is installed, I have also tried 64-bit and it did not work. So I'm going to go ahead with 32-bit. Say get now. Um, you need to complete this form, quick form. So I just enter some details. Continue. I accept and it downloads. I click on install. Minimize next. Agree to terms and conditions and I let it install in the default folder. And my drive ODBC drivers are installed. I need to create a DSN name so that I can use that DSN name and access Hive data using SSIS. So let's open our ODBC drivers. I can go to Control Panel, Administrative Tools. Here I have ODBC, ODBC 32 bit. All right, so let's create the DSN. Here I'll add, and I should see my Cloudera ODBC driver for Apache Hive say finish now here i need to mention the data source name i'll name it as hive dsn so what is my host ip address i should find that in my virtual machine let's launch All right my virtual machine is up and running now uh, so to in order to find out my ip address let me go to the terminal and uh, type if config and this is the this is my IP address. Let me copy that and come back to my DSN. Enter the host as this IP address. Server type as Hive Server Two, and uh, I have to use choose the mechanism of authentication as username and password, and then provide uh, Cloudera Cloudera, and then test it to make sure it is correct. It's good and say okay we just saw that hive dsn is created here so this is your user dsn if you want to share it across users then you should create a system dsn and if you want it to be uh, if you want to save it as a file then you need to choose it as file dsn these are different options that you have in uh, odbc to create a dsn name let's go to ssis and make use of this dsn to get connected to hive launch visual studio let's create an integration services project Under business intelligence, select integration services and integration services project. Let's give it the name connecting to Hive and let it be in the default location. So the very first thing I do is I'll add a data flow task. I go inside that. I go to connection manager, right click new connection then i select odbc here 
and add i don't have any data connection so i create a new one user or system data source name so our hive dsn should be available here there and then username and password again it's the same just test it again to make sure there is connectivity looks good and say okay okay next step is to make use of this connection odbc source we have the dsn already set and then we want a table name out of this it loads all the tables we had created in hive let's use patience preview yep we get all the data that we were looking for and we want all the columns instead of copying the patients as they are let's do a, a small transformation and separate out adult population or patients from pediatric patients for that i will need a conditional split transformation send the data of the source to conditional split double click go to columns drag age and i say adult population this is the output name it is going to give and it should be greater than 18 and the second output i call as pediatric population and for this i drag age and it should be less than or equal to 18 and i say okay so let's send this um, output to a flat file destination so i choose the adult population as output and then i configure this so this should be a new file delimited yeah sure and uh, i will create the file name as population and this have columns here yeah. what's the error here number of input columns of flat files cannot be zero let's see we have the map now that should be good we also have our pediatric population for that let's create another flat file and let's connect these two and we'll select pediatric population and double click on this and say delimited browse okay just go to mapping and it should all be done yep okay let's beautify it a little bit all right it's um good to execute now and we could also rename these neatly Let's run this. So we have 100 rows flowing from Hive data, and then 82 of them went to adult population, and 18 of them went to pediatric population. Let's verify the files that are created. Sanjay Hive data adult population yes we see we see the data and as you see the ages are above 18 all of them should be above 18 yep they all look above 18 let's check the other file pediatric population and they have 18 17 13 4 yep they all are less than or equal to 18 excellent so with this we saw how to pull the data from hive uh, using the odbc connection that we created and then 
we made use of that in SSIS to pull the data and then we also split the population by age. This concludes the video. Hope you learned something new from this video. Like the video and subscribe to the channel to get more updates on such videos. Thank you and have a great day.